The program today is called Arts About Media and involves a collaboration between the Australian Centre for the Moving Image and the National Gallery of Victoria. And the topic for the program has changed and evolved over the last three months as we've been working on it. We started off with quite a broad scope about what is identity and what might appeal to Year 9 students in looking at the artworks in the gallery and how we might relate that to the collection of ACME. So we decided after some time to um, restrict the viewing in the gallery to that of an Indigenous artist by the name of Julie Dowling, her artworks called Federation Series 1, and to involve an Indigenous artist and elder, Brian McKinnon, to discuss and describe that artwork with the students. What's really important in here is this lady, and here she's in uniforms. You guys are all too young to remember conductors, but all the trams had conductors on them rather than those big ticket machines and inspectors. The conductors would sell the tickets and give change. But her problem was she was Aboriginal and people would not take their tickets or their change from her. They didn't want to touch anything that she had touched. So to counter this, this lady had to change identities every day during the Second World War, which is around four years. Every day when she got up to go to work, she would have to put on some really long white gloves so that even if she lifted her arm, people couldn't see the colour of her skin. And she would put white powder all over her face. So she actually looked European. Then the students would progress to ACME to look at four clips from Rabbit Proof Fence. Now, Rabbit Proof Fence is a very significant film for both ACME and NGV and Brian because he has a very strong personal family link with the author of that film. What other symbols did you see the filmmaker using to try and convey to you the depth of the feelings and the emotions and the identity that those girls and their family have with the land? Like the, them banging on the glass trying to get them out. Yep, so you saw their hands. There are a lot of images of the hands up against the glass. You'd almost see them reaching out to one another and using the hands as a connection point. What was the grandma actually saying when she was like singing and knocking the sticks and everything? She was singing them home. So that's what they were holding the rabbit proof fence too. They were actually believed, like, spiritually they wouldn't do that, but because that actually connects from north to south, they believed they could transmit those words and guide them home through the fence. So she was actually singing them home. Think about how important those things are to those young girls. Maybe you'd imagine if they were creating some art, how they might symbolise those things in their artwork. But what we want you to do this afternoon is to think about it in a more positive way, to think about your own identities. What are the things that have made you the person that you are? Once the students have viewed the work in the gallery and the clips at ACME, they're then involved in an art making workshop. We're making animations um, in Photoshop and I've just been playing around trying to find some stuff which I wanted to do and pretty much made like myself but in black and white. I'm making a scratch art so when it plays all the scratchiness and all that and show up and I'm writing like all my name so it'd be like four J's, four A's, eight R's, four Y's and four D's so it like shows up and I like pink because it's a cool colour. This afternoon you could work with a 
mask like this as a starting point. Or this. Or the work that Julie Dowling did by using extremely good quality watercolour paper. So you have to make those artistic decisions about what material suits what you're trying to do. I go camping a lot, so I'm going to draw lots of different aspects of nature on the mask. Um, I'm doing a mask, and that's there's five people in my family, and so yeah, one thing is like everyone. Yeah, um, I just did this because I like weird things. So I just did any patterns to make it look weird. Okay, well, I couldn't think to do at first, but then I decided I'm a pretty open person, so I did some open doors. So remember symbolic references, opening doors. And then I just do all the stuff I like inside, like musical, yeah, triple clef, bass clef, and then basketball, football. So now you've got the open, and it's really easy because you've got the welcome mat as well, but then mm -hmm. symbols for the things that she enjoys. I put a surfboard on it because I like surfing and basketball because I like playing basketball and the bright coloured paper because um, I'm lively. Uh, mine's still wet as well but I have mine green and sparkly because I like being bright and I have musical notes because I like music and stuff. I'm going to do my mask with blue colours because I'm always calm and reassured of myself. I'm going to start dark so I can get along and do it throughout the day, how I work throughout the day. And so I start dark and then I get more brighter throughout the day. And when I get to the middle of the mask, that'll be when I'm at my most brightest point. I'll go back down to when I'm back sleeping. The feedback from the students, this is the second pilot that we've done, has been fantastic. They've given some quite constructive suggestions on how to improve it, but they all felt, I think, quite moved by the experience and we look forward to this program being implemented next year across the wider community.